This is Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter, and you are listening to No BS Job Search Advice Radio, episode 1500. Yeah! More shows than any other podcast than Apple Podcasts on Job Search. By far, beginning our 15th season of information to help you. I also have a great YouTube channel that you can get to at JobSearchTV.com. More than 5,000 videos about job search, hiring, being effective in the workplace. I'm a content machine, you know what I mean? And today's show, well... It's the first rule of salary negotiation. What's the first rule of salary negotiation? This is my opinion. Hope you find this helpful and give it a great review in Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, Spotify, wherever you listen to the show. Give it a great review. And do the same thing at my YouTube channel. Subscribe there. You'll get... Uh, information whenever I release a new podcast or video, because they all wind up on YouTube as well. And with that, let's get going, okay? 1500 Today's salary negotiation comes out of American politics, and an autobiography I read many years ago from former President Nixon. Uh, Nixon was known as a tough negotiator. Now, whether that's true or not, I don't know, but he had that reputation. In his autobiography, he talked about negotiating with, I think it was uh, the People's Republic of China, uh, on some deal. Maybe it was something else, but that's my recollection. And he said, if you ever wind up going into a negotiation, if they want you to negotiate on uh, about something, if they want you to compromise on something, they have to give you something back in return. So when a firm is offering you less money, a, a position title that's not quite right, something less than what your expectations are, you have to get them to concede to something else. Now, let me restate that. You want them to concede to something else. You don't want to just simply say, but, 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 you know, this isn't the money we were talking about. This isn't the title we were talking. You don't want to be whining in front of them. You just want to very simply say, okay. So if I accept less money, what are you going to do for me? You know, I see that you want me to take less to come on board, but what concession can you provide me with? Are you going to increase my review policy and uh, increase the review from one year to six months uh, and give me a salary review at that time? What can you do to make things better for me in this negotiation? Now, big companies really are limited because if they... You know, just recognize this scenario. We live in litigious times. And if they do something for one person, they can be sued as being perhaps um, advantaging one class of individuals over another. So let's say uh, you're a heterosexual white male uh, and uh, there is a person who's not a heterosexual white male who isn't able to negotiate this deal. Uh, this the same level as you. A lawyer gets into it and says, why'd you do it for that person and not for the other? So big companies tend to be more hamstrung than smaller or mid-sized firms. But regardless, you start asking, if I accept this, you know, with this title, with this salary, with these terms, not exactly what we've been talking about. What can you do for me? You know, can you Give me a, 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 an earlier salary review. Can you increase my vacation time? What can you do for me? And see, many people just don't make, they make the mistake of not negotiating. So you want to be negotiating, which involves asking them for concessions. Negotiation doesn't mean that you make all the concessions. Negotiating means both sides make them. So that's today's show. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, here are a few more ways to get more from me. First of all, visit my website, which is TheBigGameHunter.us. I have more than 6,000 blog posts there that you can watch, listen to, or read that will help you find your next job. If you want the best of my advice, join JobSearchCoachingHQ.com, where I've curated information with a focus on interviewing. If you decide to take the lifetime membership at the site, it's $299 currently, but that's the price of a coaching session or an hour of coaching from me, and I'll be giving that to you if you join with a lifetime membership. Have a few questions? 
Contact me through the Magnify app for iOS or PrestoExperts.com where you can call me. Schedule a specific time with me through chat on Magnify or by connecting with me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash the big game hunter. Once we're connected on LinkedIn, you can message me about coaching you, scheduling in time for Magnify or Presto Experts, speak with me about a resume or LinkedIn profile critique, help you with a salary negotiation or my trusted advisor services, and much, much more. Like you, I don't work for free. I do charge for what I do. You can take my classes on Skillshare and become a premium member using the link in the show notes and receive two months for free instead of just the one that the site offers. Skillshare offers thousands and thousands of courses, not just simply mine, on a host of different subjects that can help you in many different ways. Lastly, join my group on Facebook called Career Angles. It's free to the first 250 people who join and is focused on helping you do better at work. Information is shared daily and we're attempting to build a supportive group there. Ask to join. I'm not letting recruiters in at this point. So I'll be back tomorrow with more. And in the meantime, I hope you have a great day. Be great.